I'm joined by WPT Seminole Hard Rock Poker Showdown final tableist Breck Scutton, who has outlasted our largest field ever seen on the World Poker Tour to now sit just a couple of big blinds short of the chip lead in the final six. Breck, you'll be taking your seat in Las Vegas very soon to play at this final table in the Poker Go studio, aiming for the first place prize of $1.26 million plus a Ublo watch and the Baccarat crystal. How is this all sinking in for you right now? Uh, I've just been super excited. I mean, it's it's kind of a dream come true. Never, never thought I would be able to uh, make it this far in such a big field that uh, such a big prize pool, um, such good players in the field too, just to be able to, to outlast them to this point and be in such a good position moving forward. I mean, uh, never had this poker opportunity in my life, so uh, excited to move forward with it. I mean, tell, tell us a little bit about yourself outside of poker. So you, you obviously play poker, but that's not your full-time job, is it? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm a nurse in the neuro ICU here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So uh, that's a night shift for me, uh, kind of correlates well with poker as far as hours and stuff. But um, yeah, this, this past year has been a little bit crazy uh, dealing with all the COVID patients that come in and, and seeing that firsthand, uh, really busy having to pick up extra shifts to, to be able to uh, make sure that we're staffed well enough in the hospital. But, yeah, I mean, it must have been so intense. I, I, I couldn't imagine. Uh, this is just such a perf perfect, beautifully placed reward for you and, and the year that I'm sure you have had. I'm sure it's been a heartbreaking, really difficult year, hey? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Do you believe in good karma? Uh, I, I believe, I, I'm a strong Christian, so I believe uh, that God God rewards uh, people uh, for, for things that, uh, I mean, for being faithful, so uh not quite karma but <laughs> uh, <laughs> somewhere along those lines you know but, right so final table is given a bio sheet you know when you make it to the final table and i really liked what you wrote when it asked about what you do outside of poker you said work sleep parent repeat yeah. um, <laughs> which of the work sleep and parent would you say is the most difficult to figure out <laughs> uh i'd say the parenting still uh, i mean <laughs> work is pretty straightforward you just go in and and do the do what you got to do it can be stressful at times but uh just trying to keep keep track of kids i've got i've got four kids under the age of nine so I'm, trying to keep up with sports, keep up with school, all of that for them. And, and just the constant uh, chattering and saying, dad, 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 all the time, just yeah, hard to keep up with sometimes. But uh, I, I always see poker as my retreat from them, uh, where I, where I kind of have to ask my wife if I can go down and play. Uh, and so, so for the, this tournament, it was, uh, I, I had to bribe her by telling her that I'd take the whole family to Disney World immediately after the tournament. So, so oh. she actually drove the kids down uh, with my dad uh, to Florida to meet me down there after, after the tournament was over. And uh, we took the kids to Disney World last week. So Oh, that's such a nice way to just, yeah, to, to end such an exhilarating week for you and then yeah. to, to celebrate with the family. Yeah. And what would it mean to you to win this WPT title? So initially when the, when the tournament was going on, I never even really had much of a thought about it. But now it's kind of gotten to me a little bit more that this is more than just about uh laddering up and making more money it's a WPT title it's like one of the most prestigious poker titles in the world and it's the biggest field ever too so I mean pretty pretty exciting to be able to be able to compete for that so so the biggest thing for me with uh playing on TV is it's it's exciting for me to be able to show my kids uh me playing poker uh they're most of the places I play poker, they're not even allowed on site. And they, they keep asking, Dad, can I come along? Can I can I watch you play? Stuff like that. And they don't get much of an opportunity to. So uh, if uh, when they're able to watch me on TV, that's going to be exciting to just sit down with them and, and say, hey, there's Daddy playing uh, oh. pocket aces the wrong way or something like that. But um, <laughs> At, at least to get them kind of interested in the game. Uh, I've already taught them a little bit about the game, but just just fun to be able to sit down with them and 
and watch me on TV there. Oh, absolutely. Well, we are stoked to see you at this final table and uh, I'm rooting for you, Breck. I really uh, <laughs> I hope you get it. You, you've, you've had it. an amazing year. Thanks, Breck. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs>